This Aima Sasuke costs about $25. It's no surprise that well-established Leos are quite pricey, but what about the cheaper alternatives? Daiso is a department store that sells everything at $2. And they also make fishing lures as well. But the question is, do they work? So, in order to see whether these lures actually work, we decided to do something a little interesting. And that is to have a challenge. Before the challenge can commence, we first have to purchase the Daiso lures. This might seem as an easy task, but knowing that Marcus and I will be the people buying it, things are bound to go wrong. Yeah, so we came here, thought we took a wrong bus, and then here we are, only to find out that they are only squid jigs. It feels good. So what uh, now? I guess you are going Amokyo Hub. Me. We got Jabita by Ombio. Peace. We spent nine dollars. We spent nine dollars. We thought Amokyo Hub had the Daiso. We are wrong. Ombio Men Sports Hub. That's the good news, but the bad news is we probably have to travel again on Tuesday. Give me it. Give me it. I don't want to travel. So basically, we traveled to three different locations today only to find out that we didn't get the, get the lures we wanted. Basically, we found out that these Dyson lures are cheap but they're hard to find. <coughs> More difficult to find in fishing lures. And also, never ever trust Marcus with the orders because we only bought freaking two boxes of fried beef chicken. When we only wanted one, uh, yeah. I thought about chicken, chicken nuggets. Right. So we finally got the Daiso lures, and they are here today. Now let me just first emphasize: these Daiso lures were pretty difficult to obtain. We have to travel to total three different Daiso outlets get all these lures. So here's what we have. First we have a Daiso uh, minnow lure which is sinking. We also have a, a shed, a, actually it's a crankbait style lure and we also have a spinnerbait style lure which is something that's rather uncommon in Singapore. So here's how the challenge will work. There are three different Daiso lures and we'll all draw lots and pick one particular lure each. Now we have to stick to that lure and see who could catch the most amount of fish with it. Here are the rules to the challenge. Each of us will have one hour to try to catch as many fish as we can on the Daiso Leos assigned to us. Every fish caught counts for one point, but Zebra Celebra counts for two. Okay, since Marcus is a beginner, we'll let him choose what lure he wants. So what lure do you want? And he just fucked up. Okay, so... <laughs> Now, Lester and I will contemplate between these two lures. Now, the minnow is definitely something that you will choose and Marcus made a mistake by not choosing it. Okay, so... The spinnerbait we hit and the minnow with tails. Okay, it's just to so see who flip it. Okay, eight scissors, the first stone. Shit. Okay, I kill. <laughs> <laughs> the way you flip it is like... Tails. Wait, what was tails again? Tails is a minnow. No, that's his what? Are you ready? Oh, that's his. Wait. Oh, rip. <laughs> the crest. <laughs> the crest oh, okay. is tails. The crest is tails. So Lester got a Mino. <gasps> okay. And I got a spinner bait, which is probably the last lure that I want from this lot. <laughs> okay, so let's start fishing. Okay. I feel like it's gonna kill me. The reason why I chose this lure is because 
it looks big and I mean big equals catch fish right he's never gonna win guys he's never gonna win okay so I brought the wrong setup and thank god I got a minnow cause that should be the best lure for today feeling pretty good about it alright so the first person is gonna fish is Marcus so now he has a choice of his spot so we're gonna head over to his his desired spot. How much are you gonna bet that he's gonna backlash on the first cast? I'm gonna bet my first cast. <laughs> what? what is that? So if he backlashes, I'm gonna backlash too. Marcus, your time starts now. He didn't backlash. He didn't backlash. And the my <laughs> Okay, do you wanna share with the viewers what are your plans? In winning this, the technique you're using. I heard from somebody, not Ishan and Lester, that I'm supposed to cast a real win slowly until the lure touches the bottom and then wait for it to float and then repeat, repeat the process. So maybe I'll get lucky and hit one. Only time will tell. So, what are your expectations, your predictions? For Marcus? Yes. Um, I think it's, he has no idea what he's doing. He's cranking way too fast. But we might get proof wrong. He might get the biggest zebra that I've ever seen. What do you think of how Marcus will do? Uh, I'm, kind, I'm kind of Marcus' mentor in a way that of course he's my cousin and I fish with him regularly. The only thing I'm worried about is his beginner luck. You never know. All these beginners might get really lucky and you never know man. 20 pounds ZT, God knows. But at the same time, from what I see, he's probably not going to catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my oh god! Oh my god, guys! Holy crap! Oh my god! What the hell? Oh my god! Counted, counted! Counted, counted, counted! Oh my god! Counted, counted, counted. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll count it, we'll count it. That's you a lane. You touch the fish, okay? You touch the fish. One point. That's one point! What the heck? You caught a peacock! Yeah, I recorded it off you, man. I thought you got a rock! Oh my god! I got a rock! There's one, one for much. We spoke too soon. We might actually be in trouble now. Can't underestimate Marker. So, remember when I was talking about beginner's luck? Well, I think I shouldn't have said about it. He says it, he's claiming that it's not beginner's luck, it's individual skill. But time will tell. And he's now a threat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 7. Six, Six, five, five four, four, three, two, two one. Done, Marcus, you're done. Opinions, Marcus? How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling not that confident, but I feel like I got a good chance to win this. At you least, fish. at least maybe second place. So now let's pass the time on to uh, Ishan, who will be fishing next. 
Okay guys, so it's my turn now and I'm not feeling so confident. Marcus got a fish and I have never caught a fish on spinner bait before. So yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, so Ishan is the one that backlashes on the first cast. Okay, Ishan, have you used a spinner bait before? To be frank, this is my first time fishing a spinner bait and I have no idea what to do with it but the tactic that I'm using right now is to just straight crank slowly along the bottom. Now I have used lures that are similar to the, spin, in, to the spinner bait, such as the Gomoku spin jig. So my best bet is to probably straight crank or lift and fall. Um, I'm not so sure whether the pandan fish will respond, but all I could do is really cross my fingers and hope for the best. This is my favorite quote that I always say to Marcus. That's a very good guitar there, man. I wanted to say a quote to Marcus, but never mind. <laughs> so you might notice that I'm using a different rod, different reel. Well, it's because, remember when I was about to say a quote just now? I actually snagged my leo, snapped the line, and lost the leo. So I tied on another one on Marcus' rod, and now I'm using it. But I'm still gonna say the quote because of how presumptuous I am. And that is, Marcus, luck can only take you so far. Well, I just want to say this to Ishan. They are using my rod now. Time check. Okay, you, have you have less than one minute left. <laughs> okay, I count now. Okay. Ten. Oh, nine. Eight. Seven. Five, four, three, two, one, stop! Oh. Oh. <laughs> what do you have to say? It's a fluke. It's a fluke, guys. Since I didn't catch any fish, I have zero points and I'm basically out of the challenge. Marcus still has one point and he's still taking the lead. So it's up to Lester to take Marcus down. And there's a large amount of pressure on Lester's shoulders. Three, two, one, go. Begins. Since uh, I didn't catch anything on a spinner bait, obviously I want Lester to win. I mean, the faith of the angling society lies in his hands. If Marcus wins this challenge, both of us, we can't call ourselves anglers anymore. So I really hope that Lester will catch at least two peacock bears and seal the deal. However, I don't want him to catch too much too, you know, he might be cocky and shit. But yeah, 30 seconds in, nothing so far. Let's hope that he actually lands two peacock bears. So we've attracted a bunch of spectators. You think you'll catch? You think we'll catch? No, no, no. No? <laughs> the guy said you won't catch shit then. Let's take our innings, eh? I'll prove them wrong. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just when you thought the whole episode of snagging your line and using Marcus Rock is over, take a look at Lester now. I, I'm pretty sure you know what, what the situation is now. So yeah. I'm just saying man, I'm the more I'm the most reliable fisherman here. Like right, come on.
9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop! I win! Three markers for victory. Uh, expected. 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 I, mean, I was always the better fisherman, you know. Same time, from what I see, he's probably not gonna catch anything. <laughs> for Marcus? Yes. Thing is, he has no idea what he's doing. Okay, guys. So we're gonna come into we're gonna come to, a come to a conclusion of Daiso Lewis. So let's start with Lester. How do you feel about Daiso Lewis? They can work, but they are quite tough to use against some of the more finesse tactics that our local anglers use. Because the fish in our local reservoirs are quite wary, so some of the lures are quite large, or the action is quite erratic, or it's very loud. So it might be a bit too aggressive for the fish in Singapore. Marcus? Well, I think that the lures, I'm not, I don't know if it's just me, but I think they work pretty well la, for a beginner like me. So I'm not really That's sure about fish, the gritty details, but they can catch fish as I've proved today. Uh, as for me, I caught nothing. Yeah, and uh, I'm using a slightly weird lure, lure that not a lot of anglers use in Singapore. Presumably it's because it doesn't really work that well. You know, the spinner weight works, but of course there are some flaws. Or to it as well because it's two dollars. So I think the conclusion that you can come to Daiso Lewis is they work. We won't really recommend you to use it, but if you're on a budget or if you just want to try some cheap stuff out, go ahead. Things fair? Yes. Yeah. So for that we conclude this challenge episode and Lester and I is feeling Lester and I feel wait, hold on. Lester and I we are I both feel. feeling very, very salty because <laughs> Marcus won. Like Oh my god, we doubted him at the start, but the dark horse rose up to it and he managed to slightly clinch this victory. So, if you guys want more challenge videos, just um, tell us in our comment, comment section down below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to all your friends so you could make more videos for you guys. Okay.